Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim. Let me put on my uh, eye glasses. These are really good for protecting my eye. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I've got some very special news. I hope you're sitting down. <laughs> I went to the uh, eye doctor this morning, as a lot of you know, and it was about uh, finding out why the eye pressure went to 50 and what it is, um, what it is uh, now after a, a week. So a week has passed since I had this emergency situation and I went in and this is exactly what happened. When you go to the eye doctor, um, the uh, nurses, male or female nurses, take you into a room and then they check your uh, eye pressure with a, uh, looks like a microscope that's um, horizontal. And they, you put your chin up on this thing and they come in real close and they look in both eyes and there's a little light that you see and they tell you to look straight ahead. And um, just like that, they know what your pressure is. And so he took my pressure. Um, I've had three different assistants there help me now since I've been going to this doctor. They're all very nice there, by the way. And uh, this morning, something different happened than normally. Normally, they uh, put a little couple drops in your eyes uh, to dilate them so they can uh, take this pressure reading. And this uh, gentleman this morning, who has actually been at this office for 30 years, he started with the father, and now the two sons run the practice. And I learned this morning that one son does the uh, stent um, type surgery that I got done, and the one that I met this morning, his brother, because my doctor's out of town, <clears throat> is, uh, does cataracts. So while they're both ophthalmologists and great eye doctors, they are specialty, uh, specialized in different things. So anyway, the, the nurse uh, takes my eye pressure and then the doctor comes in and redoes it. I guess they just want to kind of have it checked again. And um, when the guy took my pressure, he said, let me, let me do it again. And I thought, oh boy, they've never asked me or said after they check it, you know, let's do it again. So I didn't know what that meant. He didn't say anything. He took it again and as quick as he got done, he said, Phenomenal. It's unbelievable. Your, your left eye is 10. I'm saying 10 is like amazing. I had 50. I had 11 the day after the surgery when I was at uh, 30 something. And so the doctor had promised that these surgeries uh, generally will bring the pressure down the next day to a very good number. And it did. And then, of course, we know about what happened about a week ago. And I had 50. Something happened. Uh, the eye pressure really built up. So they gave me something and some different drops and, and whatever. And I've been doing what I've been doing for a week. And now I go in today and it's 10 and the right eye was 21, which is not bad, they told me. And that's my good eye. So uh, he said, I want you back in a week because you're already scheduled uh, to see your doctor. Uh, so... <laughs> One thing I've learned about this whole eye thing is you don't want to get ahead of these doctors. I already tried twice to go to Jacksonville to begin my trip to like, hey, I'll see tomorrow. <laughs> no, there's nothing going to interfere with me uh, following doctor's orders now. I am like following them to a T because I already felt and seemed like what it was like to almost go blind. So now I... Um, We'll wait here for another week. I will work on my tan. I will enjoy meals at the Tiki Hut. I will continue making content. I will find some great things to show and share with you guys. We'll continue to have uh, morning devotionals and just, you know, camping out here in the teardrop. In the meantime, Jolene says, use this week to plan your trip. Start looking at the maps. Kind of get things, kind of organize what you're going to do. Get those couple of bins and totes that you're going to want and think about how you're going to organize your truck. Go ahead and change the oil in that generator, uh, which it needs to be done because I only uh, put oil in it one time and it needs to come out all those shavings and put some clean oil in. So I got a few things to do this week to prepare. In the meantime, I just wanted to share with you how um, I really believe, you know, I'm a believer and we always say, we don't hang our heads when we say that around here. I'm a believer in God and I'm a believer in prayer and I just wanted to thank everyone in my community that is also a believer that has actually prayed for me and uh, Dwayne and 
uh, Larry yesterday uh, with Denise and Nona, and they prayed over me before they left uh, to go back to, um, I talked to them just a little bit earlier uh, before they went back to Orlando and they're returning to Georgia tomorrow. I believe it was a divine intervention that they came into my life. It's not just, and Dwayne will tell you this, it's not my prayer. He's not getting up on a soapbox or anything, but it's, 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 it's God's work. And their prayers, your prayers, my prayers. And I'd also like to ask you, while we're talking about praying, uh, Dwayne's brother, uh, his name is Donnie. If you would lift Donnie up in prayer, uh, Donnie went in for some kind of thing in the doctor, and the doctor went in with some jet, uh, jet thing and uh, hit his bladder and it, uh, put him back a step. Now he's home recovering from that before he can get his initial operation that he went in there for. So they made an error, and uh, he needs to recoup from that, and so that was unfortunate. So um, I'll lift up this individual, Donnie, in your prayers. Because medicines work. Uh, doctors are guided by uh, God's hand. They have the education. They have the, the skills. But there is also absolutely intervention uh, with God. I believe in that. And divine intervention can heal. Don't worry about anything that you might be going through. This is going to be my testimony. And here's the good news. Well, it's not good news yet, but I'm praying that it will be. If I go on the 7th of March, one week from today, when my doctor is my doctor, is going to see me again, and he was text, uh, he, he received a text from his brother today about my, uh, my visit. I'm sure he's elated too. If I continue to see a very low number next week after this 50 pressure and then got it down and now it's down to 10, and that maintains, he said, doing exactly what I'm doing now with my drops, that's going to be a huge encouragement to me that this is going to be moving back behind me and that I'm going to be on my way to full recovery of what recovery there is. There is no really uh, fixing glaucoma. It's just keeping it in check. And if that continues to, um, to be good news next week, I'm going to be, there won't be any stopping me. I'll be so elated. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll definitely begin uh, to plan our trip and start taking off around the country. And I just can't wait to see what doors are gonna be open, knowing that I can drive with full confidence that 90% of my eye is behind me, I've got a testimony, I've got a story, and anything can help, uh, any, anybody can be helped through prayer. God can do anything he chooses to do. So folks, thank you so much for everything you've done. Please remember this uh, Mr. Donnie in your prayers, and also anyone else out there that's got your own issues, everybody's got issues. Prayer works, and take your meds, follow your, order, your doctor's orders, but pray to, the, pray to God uh, for recovery and for health. And you don't know why he uh, is putting you through what you're going through. I don't know why I had this relapse on my eye, but I've got a story to tell now, and it's just increased my faith even more. And I just wanted to uh, just make this video, basically come out and get, let you guys know. As you know, I, I video my life. I'm just telling you everything that's going on every day. I'm just showing you what's happening. And I know you're interested. I know you're a great community. And I love you guys so much. I appreciate everything. And crush it.